Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. I am continuing on looking at some of your designs that you've linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if you want to see something that you've created, you just have to drop a link and I'll eventually get around to it. But for today's video, we are looking at the World War II styled plane, which is this right here. So let's take a quick look around the outside and then we'll go and have a little fly around because it is a lot of fun. I always forget about the plane part mods, but they are great once they've been put together. So at the very front of this plane, we can see two little Gatlings hiding on the left and right of the little nozzle and underneath we of course got a missile launcher. At the front here covering them up is a propeller. Now you don't have to worry about firing these and risking blowing up the ship because the propellers don't have any kind of collision so the Gatling guns, so the bullets and the rockets will simply fly through them with no risk to killing yourself. As we come around to the outside we can see the rounded blocks have been used a lot and we got some lights going like that. And then we come and see the modded wing, which is this thing right here. Now the modded wing does have some interesting mechanics on it, because if I bring up the little bar, I can open these up, which are how we stop ourselves in the air to try and land. Like that, but I'll come back to that a little bit later. Underneath we of course have got the wheels, the light on, which can be retracted into the wings. Then coming across to the very end there, We've got a green light to finish off the edge of the wings. Moving across to here, we've got the German flag, which is also featured on the wing. We've got the regular fighter cockpit, and then coming around to the very back, we've got some more modded blocks, which are the little fins with a singular atmospheric thruster. Coming down below, we can see another modded wheel there to keep us up at the back, which cannot be retracted, or at least I haven't found a way to retract it into the main body, but it just seems to sit there. I will just play around with that before I take off, but I might need to reload the game. And then the only feature on the underneath of the main body is this sole little light. We do have this at the very top of the tail, which is a gyroscope to keep us balanced because we are still plain, but that is it for the outside. It's simplistic, makes good use of the mods, and it's more of a joy to fly than anything else. So pressing F6, I can come into the cockpit and we have a few options. Number one is the Gatling guns. So if I just tilt my camera like this, we can fire the Gatling guns like that. Pressing number two is for the missile. Pressing number three will start up the propeller, which will start spinning around and it does that really cool thing of where it suddenly like looks like it reverses back onto itself because it's going so fast. And then just to demonstrate, there's the Gatling guns firing. There's the missile firing, so there's no risk at all. Number four is the flaps to uh, slow yourself down in order to land or make a sharp maneuver. I think it's for sharp maneuvering, I don't really know. Number five is to close up where the landing gears go. And number six is to retract the landing gear where they get folded in. So before I take off, let's come over to the blueprint screen and take a look at the blocks. So this comes in at a tiny 265 blocks which is exceptionally lightweight. You might notice that the screen is flicking every now and again when I turn the camera and that is unfortunately due to the modded blocks not behaving well with the camera. So it's time to go for a fly basically and remember one single thruster is on this ship. So if I come over to it here, a single atmospheric thruster is what is propelling the ship and it flies beautifully. Undoing the parking brake, we got the propellers on, let's now move forwards. So moving forwards, we can now gently pull ourselves up, retract the wheels in, like so, and then once that is done, we can press 5 to close up the little hatches. And now we can fly around. It handles beautifully despite being only a single thruster, which is what the plane wing mods adds to this game. But now you might be wondering, how exactly do we stop? Because even if I hold down S, we're not stopping, are we? Not at all, we're not slowing down at all. Despite the actual propellers stopping, we need to press number four, which will abruptly stop us. 
like that, which allows us then to come down and land. But I'm now just going to very carefully try and pull myself back up. Go fly around a bit more. Let's do some tight maneuverings there. Whoopsie. Ah, pull up. There we go. Yes, yeah, so you can't exactly fly on the side of the wings with this thing. But it's really good. We can shoot the missile, avoid the tree. Try and shoot some of the trees. Trees are the biggest enemies in this game, so we must shoot them all. Okay. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that was close. We're flying very fast now. I'll come around to here. In fact, I'm going to try and land on the grass, so I'm going to deploy the wheels. See if I can find a nice flat area to set this thing down. Switch to the Gallon Guns. But let's hide that. And continue to look around, so... Looking around there is all good. Oh, this looks like a great place to land. Activating them. Slowing down. Gently going to bring myself to here. And here we go. And parking brake is on. And there we are. Perfectly landed. I like this ship. I think it's more the actual ship wings itself. I just enjoy to fly around with. But still, it's a great design. If you wish to have a small little fighter plane to fly around in your world, perhaps you could set up a battle against tanks and all that. Go like Heroes in General style, where you have jeeps going around, tanks, and then you've got the pesky planes, which are so annoying to kill unless you have an AA turret. But then again, you just get straight bombed in that game if you're in an AA turret. I call that a successful landing. But anyway, that is it for this video. It's a lot of fun to play around with. It's very simplistic, but it's still a joy to fly. So as per usual, it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and try it yourself. And I'll be back with another showcase video sometime soon. Bye bye.